Hello, buddy. It's Zechariah. As of you know, I'm day camera running to involve police officers, firefighters, and U.S. Border Patrol members who are life in the line of duty in 2020. And unfortunately, I'm, I'm running another captain who has passed away. And tonight, I'm running for police captain Jeff Sewell. Sewell. He worked with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol in Oklahoma and his end of watch was September 26, 2020. He lost his life at the time of COVID-19 while in the line of duty. He was 58 years old at the time of his passing and served a total of 32 years with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. He was assigned to the officers. Uh, he was assigned to the officers for res resistance system and leaves behind a wife, two daughters, um, and five grandchildren. Uh, he was assigned to the officers assistance program. Tonight I'll be running with the blue and black in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around training my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I'll be doing my tonight by the Summit County Sheriff's Office who will be patrolling the U.S. Customs Border Protection who are running for me, supporters, the U.S. Orlando Cops Chapter, the Orange County Sheriff's Office backup to my whole family. Even though it seems like there's a lot of people running out here tonight and walking, at the same time there's even more running, and that's all the fun I have ran for. I know they're armoring the spirit tonight, including fallen captain Jake Sowell. Before one starts, I'm going to a quick prayer. Je Jeff's, Je sorry, Jeff Sewell. Before one starts, I'm going to a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hard time we're going through, and then I'll be on the way. For those tuning in tonight, tonight Zechariah running his second mile of the evening. This mile, in honor of fallen Captain Jeff Sewell, he worked with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol in Oklahoma. End of watch, September 26, 2020. Tragically, another hero that we've lost as a result of contracting COVID-19 while in the line of duty. He was 58 years old at the time of his passing. He served a total of 32 years as a member of the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. He was assigned to the Officers Assistance Program. He leaves behind a wife, two daughters, and five grandchildren. Zechariah completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile, to honor the life of fallen captain Jeff Sewell tonight. We're always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out and help honor our fallen heroes alongside of Zechariah. Helping to honor fallen Captain Jeff Sewell tonight, we have multiple members of our hometown agency, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office patrolling behind Zechariah. Running with Zechariah, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection as well as one of Zechariah's best friends. Walking with Zechariah tonight, we have a member of the Central Florida Concerns of Police Survivors Chapter. Playing bagpipes tonight, we have a member of the Orange County Sheriff's Office and Piper for the Orange County Pipes and Drums Band. Once again, we're all here tonight to honor the life of fallen Captain Jeff Sewell from the Oklahoma High Patrol. His end of watch, September the 26th, 2020, tragically lost his life after contracting COVID-19 while in the line of duty. He was a 32-year veteran of the Oklahoma High Patrol, served a total, uh, like I said, of 32 years, was 58 years old, and leaves behind a wife, two daughters, and five grandchildren. Zachariah completing his second seven laps to honor this hero tonight. <laughs> For every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries with him a unique flag. Each flag sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. This flag, a blue line flag, will be sent to the Sewell family, along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier today. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, the flag mission, visit running, the number four heroes.org. We will also be paying tribute to every fallen first responder lost in the line of duty in 2020 on the Running for Heroes NASCAR car that's going to hit the track at Daytona in February. If you'd like to know how you can help get your loved one or your hero's name on that car, please message us and we'll give you details. I'm going to go silent starting on this next lap as the bagpipes play. I'm going to remain silent for the remainder of the run. 
as we reflect on the life of this fallen hero, fallen Captain Jeff Sewell. Our prayers go out to the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. Our prayers also go out to the Sewell family, his wife, his two daughters, his five grandchildren. We hope this run brings you comfort and healing tonight as we remember and never forget your fallen hero, fallen Captain Jeff Sewell.
Zechariah, any final words for the family? Fallen Captain Jeff Sewell. Um, I know his wife is also watching. Um, to the family of Captain Jeff Sewell, I know, like I said, the wife is watching tonight. To the wife, first and foremost, I want you to try to get this out to as much people as possible that you know that knew him, like other family members and friends. Because, you know, I know with, this, with the help of you, and when people start getting around this video and watch it, It'll it'll let the families uh, it'll it'll heal the community of Oklahoma Highway Patrol. You know, um, you know that uh, you know Oklahoma's even though it's not one of the biggest states in the United States, people at the Oklahoma Highway Patrol, even though they have sectors they work at, they're still technically patrolling the whole entire state. That's why it's called the Oklahoma uh, Highway Patrol because they control the highways, and you know, that's a very very hard job. You know, tons of people are speeding there every single day. Tons of people are doing, you know, maneuvers that are very illegal. You know, I see that when I'm on the highway every single day. But they also have calls uh, where there's, you know, Highway Patrol have lots of calls where, you know, not only do they uh, have calls where lots of times when they pull over people, they, they, those are the people that are most likely going to have guns in their car. You know, at the same time, COVID-19 also affects these people because, you know, with the Highway Patrol, they have to pull over people and stop for traffic stops, you know, almost every single, I'm going to guess, 20 even 10 minutes and you know they have to go out to all these cars and you know they can't have a mask on because you know just in case they try to run off they have to be able to try to speed up to them and with the mask it's just going to slow them down so i want to thank everybody with every single highway patrol around the area of the united states and i want to thank everybody with the oklahoma highway patrol um for all of their hard work you know he I also you know he was a big part of this officers association he worked with the officers associate program so i know he as well as serving his community as an officer he also, uh, he also serving as a 32-year uh, veteran officer. He also served with the officers, um, um, officers associative, um, assistantive um, uh, association. You know, so he also worked with the actual department as well. So family of the black flag, as well as the hammer note in your honor. Once again, everybody tonight be. Some kind of sheriff's office, the Orange County Sheriff's Bike Pipes, the U.S. Cops and War Protection have been having a great turnout recently. I want to thank them all for coming out. The U.S. Cops Organization, as well as one of my best friends who came out, and my whole family, like my sister, my parents, and my grandfather. You know, they come out almost every single time, and I want to thank them all uh, for all coming out. If you would like to join me in a 32 second moment of silence, each second you can one year uh, as a police officer with the, uh, or as a trooper with the Oklahoma High Patrol, and every single second also dedicating one amazing thing he did during his life. Please do, because it will help the family to be join me in this next 32 seconds of silence. Thank you very much for going on silence. Like I said, the families will be smiling if you did join me. Uh, earlier, um, I didn't pronounce it wrong, he worked with the um, Officers Associate Program, uh, so as well as Assistant Assistance Program. So also, as working with the Highway Patrol, he also was a great member of the people around him. So, you know, he was a truly dedicated officer, one that will always inspire me from the years to come. We have one more dude tonight, and unfortunately it's for another COVID-19 victim, so please stay tuned for the last run. Once again, thank you for watching, and I pray God blesses you all.